Smart cities are improving uh, smart management, data management. So this is, on my opinion, a huge challenge for the, the whole world being able to address this smart city challenge. With, for example, the, the improvement and the rollout of smart meters, we will be able to get a huge number of data that will allow these cities, these territories, to address energy efficiency, to address the massive integration of renewable energies, or to address the development of electric vehicles. Tokyo has a very long history and also Tokyo is one of the smartest city in Asia. I think that in the near future, not only the Tokyo city, but also the total Japan must introduce more renewable energy to reduce CO2 emission. Japanese government consider the climate change policy to meet the Paris Agreement target. In Tokyo, on the other side, they try to make their own target for the reduction of their carbon dioxide emission in 2020. It is a very important point to how to reduce the cost of the renewable energy in the future. In Japan, houses and buildings are something that is not built forever. So there is this tradition of recycling and rebuild houses and buildings. This helps a lot with the introduction of new technologies. We are supporting now for zero emission building, zero emission house, as well integrating renewable energy in the grid at several levels from distribution to transmission network. We are very interested in the home-connected technologies, which is able to serve the well-being of the resident and build eco-friendly environment. It's clear that consuming less amount of electricity is the best way to reduce carbon impact and cost. But the point is how to save electricity without compromising the comfortability of the people. We should seek alternative ways, such as rooftop solar, and battery system. We are a mixture between French and Japanese company and we are doing floating solar technology. This Yamakura Dam project is the biggest one in Japan. This project is a 13.4 megawatt. We are making the electricity for 4,700 people in Tokyo. With floating solar project, very easy to create smart community in Japan. Our company produces and market small and lightweight solar panels and off-grid PV systems for consumers, professionals, and industrial customers. You can attach or detach solar panels easily, so all the car owners can store the energy. It is important for all the people who have the, their own energy storage to share with all the people. Using renewable energy is very important in Japan, in Tokyo, because we have so much disasters. When I was a child, I lived in Kobe city. Kobe had a actually very big earthquake in um, 1995 and uh, we can't use electricity 
two or three days. So it's a so terrible experience for me, you know. So that's why we have to have many options about energy. Electric vehicles is another thing that I think is coming. The big problem with electric vehicles is also how to charge the car. The infrastructure are coming and we're expecting a lot more vehicles in the near future in Tokyo. The government policy in Japan is very supportive of electric mobility. There are purchase incentives for customers uh, and there is a big support for charging infrastructure. We've had very strong support from the Ministry of Transport and from the overseas development organisations. Our latest innovation is, is right behind me here. It has a fully electric powertrain, so it is completely zero emission as a vehicle and fully regenerative braking, so constantly recharging the battery from the vehicle. We add to that the features that we call intelligent integration where we have a unique capability that you can actually both charge power into the battery but also to discharge that power to support uh, energy usage in your home, in your building or even more widely in the electrical grid. That gives us so many opportunities to integrate renewable energy into the grid. Renewable energy is a fantastic thing but it only works when the wind blows or when the sun shines. So you need storage capacity for that. So what we're working on now is the next level of charging. Putting charging into apartment blocks, putting on-street charging. Maybe in the future we'll actually see wireless charging roads which can charge a car as you drive along. There's great innovation here and great potential for that. It is important to have the more electric vehicles, not only in the sense of the new generation of a vehicle, but also as a key component of the smart society. From now, we have to manage the energy by ourselves, so we need smart meter. Smart meters will be important to know the exact status of the power consuming patterns. Smart meters is something that the government followed really deep in the last years. Already all the Japanese utility are deploying smart meters. We are expecting to have all the residential customers with a smart meter for 2025, so very soon. The introduction of the smart meter is a very important element of, uh, to achieve the smart grid. Many customers are coming as a prosumer, a product to the grid system. So such a customer must increase the knowledge about what kind of action, what kind of result in society. The only way to have people to do things is to show them how to do it. Having information about your own consumption is the starting point to try to find another way to use the electricity as well. Technology should be something to help people to live better, so it's really objective to develop new things and new equipment and new communication technologies. Technology is a very important solution to move forward, not only in Japan, but in the world. Japan is one of the countries in the world where innovation is the most advanced. I mean, Japan put a lot of money, time, resources in innovation. I think that will be key for the future for them. So Japan now needs to help startups, uh, to have these startups working with big Japanese companies who are putting a lot of time and efforts in innovation and patents. When I was a child, I read some books about environmental problems and uh, I thought, wow, it's a very big problem and uh, I want to solve it. So that's why our company is making uh, two different applications. So Perica is a social networking service of the uh, smartphone. Our users pick up letter on the street and uh, take a picture of it and share. Actually, 70 million pieces of letter were picked up in over 80 countries. Uh, second application is a Perica research product. Actually, it's a professional application. Our customer means uh, government or energy or are using our application. So their staff are taking a video of the street so we can analyze how many pieces of litter or what kind of piece of litter are there and we can generate heat map of littering. So our application are used all over the world.
there is a fascinating balance between tradition and modernity in, in Tokyo and indeed in the whole of Japan. There's a real valuing of culture, a valuing of tradition. Japanese people have the very, very sympathy to the traditional manner and also we like the uh, brand new technology. Tokyo has a good balance between traditional and also new technology. We have to keep the traditional things because we have a spirit. With our Japanese spirit, we have to challenge the new technology. Tokyo should keep the traditional mind and also challenge the high technology. I think Tokyo will continue to evolve. Clearly it's a huge city with tens of millions of people and, and a rapidly expanding area, but also one of constant innovation. Now I'm sure Tokyo will be at the forefront of many of the technological innovations that are coming, but that's always done to the benefit of all and that there is a strong preservation of culture, a strong preservation of what's important in Japanese heritage. We imagine Tokyo as a city and a community which is more environmental friendly and attractive to live in with greater security and convenient mobility. And in the future, I really hope that we'll have enough technology to give the people the possibility to decide how to use energy and electricity in an efficient way in the moment they most need without impacting in a bad way the environment. Uh, so to have a really a city that is working in the better way for the environment and the world. I hope the uh, Tokyo will maintain and uh, develop to the uh, worldwide proud city that prepare to the citizen to the very safety and the beneficial and the very very uh, comfortable uh, area by using of the technology in the future. <laughs>